Hello people and welcome to another PlanetSide 2 video. I hope you're all doing good. My name is Matthias and here is another flying video where I'm going to focus mostly on air to air but not all of it. Uh, it's going to be some air to ground as well. And this kind of points out the uh, strength of the uh, ESF. It's multi-role where if you can use it correctly in my opinion you are supposed to be able to adapt uh, your flying to whatever situation you are put into. And as much as I've mentioned this before, shooting a tank from behind, if you hit uh, perfectly, you will kill it with uh, one barrage of rockets, even if it's at full health. Now that one was already heard from before, as is this one that I'm shooting on, so they, these are not uh, perfect examples for it. But uh, if you hit perfectly from behind, you will take out any main battle tank with one barrage of rockets from any ESF. Now being able to switch between ground and air targets is key when it comes to being useful and uh, combat efficient as a pilot. Lots of NT. Yeah. They've got 44% pop. Yeah. Whoa, and I'm going down. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I did aim quite a bit above that reaver in order to hit it. Uh, he was using his vertical thrust, which is the strongest with the reaver. So uh, that means that if you fight against the sight or if you fight against the mosquito, you may want to lead a little bit less. Of course, the choice of airframe of your opponent uh, plays a big role in that as well. This is not jellyfish. Jellyfish is ten times better. Oh, right, okay. It's just yeah. that his name was looked very similar. Yeah. Or it's just that he's flying a reaver. I mean, that makes a big difference. <laughs> Incoming enemy aircraft! I mean, NC is getting cocky when they have like twice the population, I mean... Yep. Oh, we had? Oh, you got him. Oh, nice. I thought we had some uh, anti-air here all of a sudden, but I guess we don't. So these are some uh, Reaver pilots that I'm quite familiar with. They are very experienced and uh, we've had some unusually good dogfights here, even though there's been a lot of anti-air. And uh, this is uh, Kebab, one of my friends of the Jester's. Outfit and yeah, I call them my friends, uh, especially when they uh, team up with like 15 anti-air maxes with my name on it. That's that's when we are best friends. Incoming enemy aircraft. Now look closely at this situation. Look how I'm not shooting. Look how I could easily take him out with the rocket pods and I let him live. Yeah. That's what a nice guy I actually am. Oh, that's a rammer. That's a rammer. Yeah. You start to recognize them after a while. Going down though. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a level one. Why am I? Why am I being mean about the level one? Yeah, of course, uh, you guys know me. I only said nice and mature things about that guy as I thought he was going to ram me intentionally. Uh, this is one of the easiest way to see how to lead on uh, range. Uh, normally, like in this case, an ESF is uh, way faster than a Liberator. But uh, yeah, here you can see that uh, aiming directly on the target is almost never going to do the trick. That only works if you're like 100, 150 meters away from it. Now if you want to practice leading in the virtual reality room, there has to be at least two of you for that though, but uh, there are many ways of uh, practicing air to air in the VR room. You could either go like a dogfight and just try to put as many bullets or rockets as possible on each other while dodging or just uh, flipping and turning the way you would do in a uh, fight normally. But uh, you could also come up with uh, specific exercises about leading and uh, if any of you guys are interested in that, I'll come out with something in the near future. Just let me know. Because uh, I have spent quite some time in the VR training room with uh, some of my mates trying to figure out uh, a couple of things about just uh, general maneuvering and uh, leading, aiming, some such. Now in this chase or dogfight or whatever you want to call it, I was a bit careful here because he was flying over enemy uh, anti-air and I was a bit uh, worried that he was just going to try to lure me into it and let the anti-air take me out. 
But uh, yeah, I took a bit of a risk and it paid off. And I think maybe it wasn't his uh, platoon or whatever that was uh, up on that ridge with the AA. Oh, he's landing here. Oh, and he killed himself. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's another reason why uh, I recommend having a multi-role setup for your uh, ESF. Is that many times your air-to-air -air dogfight will turn into air-to-ground. Another thing about the multi-role with your ESF is that you can actually use the rocket pods uh, as air-to-air. -air. Now this is uh, quite a useful way of taking out uh, enemy galaxies and liberators. But against enemy ESFs it's not the most reliable way. If I use it, it's normally when my target is very close and I'm in the reloading process of my uh, rotary. And one more thing is that don't be afraid to just fire away in order to get a good lead on your target. Don't worry about your statistics or whatever about your accuracy. They mean absolutely nothing. If anybody believes that they can read into skill when they look at these statistics, they have no idea what they're talking about, so don't worry about it. But it does really help to just fire like this and look at where your bullets go in uh, relation to your opponent. Just make sure that uh, if you're getting down to like 150, 200 bullets or such, you may want to start going in the direction of where you can resupply, because... Uh, Running out of rockets in your rocket pods, that doesn't really mean that much, but your rotary, that's your defense, and uh, you don't ever want to run out completely. I'm uh, sure that most people would prefer to see true dogfights, one versus one, fighting each other in these battles. But unfortunately with this game, that is quite unusual. And uh, if you want to be good at uh, flying, uh, especially air to air, you need to be able to stay on somebody's tail and be able to take out somebody who's trying to get away from you. Because that is far more common than a true one versus one, at least in my experience. And uh, taking out a ESF that uh, is uh, shooting on your teammates, that is uh, very valuable. And uh, if your friends see you do it, they will most likely be very grateful for it. No, no, no. It's oh, it is. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it was down. One down. One. The guy is on A again. <laughs> My aircraft is burning. Oh, I will try it. I'll be up in a I'll go get in this uh, Sandra, see if I can shoot him down. Oh, oh, oh crap. Mm. Just one guy at the A hitch. I could use some help. Yeah. <laughs> so, I really hope this video helped, at least uh, to some degree. Please let me know what you think, and uh, please stay tuned for more content. There are going to be some related videos in the description below this video. Some tutorials and uh, some air-to-air -air gameplay. Some of the stuff that I've uh, done the last couple of months. So uh, other than that, please stay tuned for more content and uh, bye for now.
Generator repaired. Identified. Enemy Thunderer spotted! 